I've updated my foot drum triggers. I was previously using the Boss FS7s, which has uh, two triggers. It's a, like a guitar pedal um, with momentary switches, but um, I just didn't like the feel of it. So I've customized this. This is like a metal box, uh, project box, kind of like the kind used for guitar effects pedals. Um, and then these are two momentary switches of a different style, not like the guitar pedal kind. Um, and what I've done is um, these can work on a single trigger and trigger the Yamaha DTX 502. And I use it for tom sounds or congas or whatever. But um, so. And then what I've done is I've set these switches can do. They can be configured to be uh, what's called normally open and normally closed. So I've got that switchable. So when these are on, now I've got double triggers. So when I push it, it triggers. When I release it, it triggers. So I can get doubles like. Or if you do it quick, you can get kind of a flam sound. And then of course, I can change sounds real easy by just changing the, the drum module and then get different toms. And I can have all kinds of different sounds. And what I've done, I've got uh, two of these. I've got one on each side. And I put another one. I replaced the heel pedal with just like a single. And then I've, I'm triggering with D drum triggers. I'm triggering the snare. And then I've got a piezo trigger on the wood block. And I've got a, a Yamaha trigger on the kick. And I'm running like eight different triggers. And instead of having all those cables, because I had a bunch of cables, had to wire them all up. Um, instead, I've hardwired these in and mounted them under the main board of the, of the foot drum. And then I put them into like an RJ45 socket and I'm using network cables, cat five network cables. So I've reduced like from all the eight cables down to just two. So I just run two of the cat fives and um, I won't get into the wiring of that, but it's, it's working great. And these pedals just, they're a lot better. Um, I've kind of permanently, not semi-permanently mounted them. Um, I can still take them off, but just, I've got like a single, a single bolt going in there. I've got a, I drilled a hole and put like a threaded insert and then I can just screw the one bolt in and then this thing's solid. It doesn't go anywhere. I used to use nano tape, but it was kind of a hassle sticking them on, taking them off and it's kind of messing up the finish. But, um, these, these are working pretty good. They're just kind of, you know, made out of wood. Um, but I got, I was able to customize the angle to make them just what I wanted. And then as far as switching these switches on and off, I've just got one of those little like, uh, like coin batteries, whatever, just mounted here that powers them. It, it should last a pretty long time. So that way at least they'll light up and I can tell if they're on the double hit or single. Um, and I don't have to like plug them in anywhere. The battery, if, even if the battery dies, they'll still work. Um, it's just lighting up the LED that goes around there. But anyway, these things work great. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, if anybody's interested, happy to answer questions. Uh, I don't know if I could do an in-depth video but on how to build them. But um, if anybody gives it a try, happy to answer any questions. Let me know. All right. Hope you liked it. See ya.